hello, and happy day. Have you reminded yourself to slow down today, to reduce the noise, to listen? My name is Igor, SF Walker, and I am here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today, we look at Initiation by Elizabeth Hake. The I has never been and never will be born, only the body. The true divine self is perfection itself, so a development in it is not possible. Only the body must be developed in order to be able to manifest higher and higher vibrations and higher and higher frequencies of the self. Events themselves are not important, only the experiences and the lessons that you get from them. Don't be blinded to the vagaries of faith. Just because everything is going well at the present, earthly riches can be destroyed. Whatever knowledge you acquire is yours to keep and cannot be taken away from you. So where will you find some help? Inside yourself. Don't you see? This is just the trouble. Everybody's waiting for help from outside. And as everybody is expecting help and not giving it, nobody gets help. But if everybody would give help, everybody would receive it too. And the whole world could be free of suffering. The self is not a half of something seeking its complementary half. The self is a complete whole. When a person recognizes this truth, the body follows, becoming free of sensuality, vanity, anger, covetousness, envy, sensitivity, and then on the other side, the ability to withstand outside influences. Initiation means to become conscious on the highest level the divine plane. To be able to do this requires long physical training and spiritual preparation. One first must strengthen the nerves to enable them to bear these high vibrations without harm, without death. To become conscious on a given plane means to conduct the vibrations characteristics of this plane into the nerves and through the nerves into the body. From the time a body is born, that is, from the time a self dwells in it, the body develops the power of resistance corresponding to the average degree of consciousness of the spirit dwelling in it. The degree of consciousness of a living creature fluctuates up and down depending on its emotional condition within the limits of an octave of vibration. These fluctuations however, must not exceed the limits of elasticity of the nerves, for if they do, injuries and sickness of a more or less serious nature occur, even death. The vibration belonging to creative vital energy is absolutely lethal for creatures whose consciousness has not yet reached this level. It will burn out the nerves and the nervous centers. The great initiation means consciously experiencing the vital energy and creative vibration of eternal being, experiencing these vibration on every plane of development in their original frequency without transformation and simultaneously conducting these vibrations into the nerves in the body. Whatever happens on Earth is only a transitory dream picture projected in time and space by ourselves. We only need to take it seriously in so far as it adds to our experience. Concentration cannot be a permanent condition, but only a transition between a projected world and being. When you concentrate your thoughts on something, you can't stop with just thinking, because concentration leads you back to yourself and you become the very thing you are concentrating on. From thinking, you progress through concentration into a state of being. Thinking ceases completely and the thinker becomes identical with what he is thinking. To think something means to project a thought outwardly by the means of intellect, as if by means of a mirror, hence to step out of self. 
I come to recognize two beings in myself, a personal ego, which is often applied to chatter without control, purely for the sake of communicating and attracting attention to my person, and in the background of my consciousness, a higher self, which restrains my personal ego dwelling and telling it when and what it is to speak or do, and when it is to remain silent or passive. If you observe yourself during concentration, you will notice that in doing it, you go through three phases, intellectual, emotional, and spiritual. Now comes the most difficult task of all, concentrate on yourself. First reflect and consider what you are, then feel what you are, and finally you must be what you are. I devote myself to these two tasks, learning to be my own self and learning to keep silence. You can achieve knowledge only through comparing the two sides, positive and negative, which have become separated from each other. As long as these two sides are together, resting in each other, you can perceive or recognize anything. Both good and evil have arisen only through separation from unity, which itself is neither good nor evil, but divine. Only through separation is it possible to achieve recognition and knowledge, and consequently, the recognizable world must consist of good and evil. If this were not so, it would not be recognizable and could not exist at all. Eternity is an eternal present. Infinity is the eternal future, which can never be reached and never becomes present. Now, eternity never had a beginning and thus will never have an end. Eternity is timeless present, which has no past nor future. Infinity, however, means a falling out of eternity into the future without a present. The self is life and the only reality, and whoever is initiated into the self and in this way has become to know himself completely, loves everything and everyone equally, for he is one with them. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, share it with the world, subscribe to my channel, and you can find a direct link to this book in the description below. So get it and read. Thank you. Love and respect.